TubeBuddy complete tutorial for beginners. How you can 10x your engagement in YouTube using TubeBuddy for absolutely free. Hey guys, this is Shine from Review Shine, and in this tutorial, I'm going to cover up TubeBuddy complete tutorial for beginners as well as I'll cover the advanced topic as well. It's the only end-to-end -end tutorial on TubeBuddy that you can find on YouTube. With that being said, I'm going to discuss how you can 10x your channel's engagement, views and subscribers with the help of secret tools that are inbuilt within TubeBuddy that only top 1% of YouTubers use in their daily tasks. Now, I'm going to cover you up with secret tools like topic planner, keyword research, rank tracker, competitor analysis. I'm also going to dig deep into A-B testing, click magnet, video analytics, channel analytics and all the stuffs that TubeBuddy offers you to grow your YouTube channel and increase your engagement and views and subscribers. With that being said, as I've already told you, only 1% of top YouTubers actually use this properly. So after watching this video till the end, you would be able to use TubeBuddy properly for your YouTube and you can grow your YouTube just like that. Now that being said, I just wanted to tell you that this is based on the latest version of TubeBuddy and I've got it installed and I've got the Legend license. So I'll give, be giving you a complete walkthrough of every little details that it has. And also there is going to be a gift for you if you stay till the end of it, right? And don't consider skipping any part of this tutorial because everything is interrelated and connected. After watching this step-by-step -step tutorial, you would be able to implement these strategies onto your YouTube channel and you can expect a growth in your YouTube channel. With that being said, without further ado, let's jump onto my laptop and let me show you how to do the stuff step by step. Hey guys, welcome to this complete TubeBuddy tutorial for beginners. And as you can see, I'm within my dashboard over here and I've got TubeBuddy installed. Now, if you don't know how to install TubeBuddy in a fresh account and connect it with your YouTube account properly, then I suggest you check out my video right on this card over here where I discuss in details like how you can open up your TubeBuddy account and how you can connect it with your YouTube properly to get the best suggestion from TubeBuddy. With that being said, in here, I'm going to quickly summarize how to do the stuff. You can find the link below to TubeBuddy. You can just click on that, which would take you to the official page of TubeBuddy, which should look something like this, as you can see. And from here, you can just click on this to download the extension for absolutely free of cost. And once downloaded, you can install it on your computer. Now, just remember to sign up into TubeBuddy using the same Gmail account that you use for your YouTube. That helps you for a smoother connection, right? Now, this has been detailedly discussed on my video, as you can see on the card, or you can find it on the description. So I deeply suggest that you go ahead and check out that video first. You can just pause this video, go ahead and check out that video and then install TubeBuddy and come back over here so that you can follow along with me. With that being said, let's jump over to the overview of TubeBuddy. So the first step that we have is overview of TubeBuddy. Now TubeBuddy you can access in two different ways. One is their standalone web program as you can see over here. And as I was telling, it's very important to connect your channel to TubeBuddy. You can see over here, my channel is connected to TubeBuddy over here, right? Now from here, you can get different tools like you can see over here, health report, launchpad, competitor scorecard, search rank tracking, brand alerts, A-B testing, backup and export, canned responses, where from you can control the comments, then promo materials, retention analyzers and settings, right? So this is all that they have in their web version. And then once you are into YouTube, you can find this thing over here. This is the TubeBuddy extension, right? If you click on this, you can see all the tools are available over here. So you can use it either from their standalone web app, which is this one, or you can use their extension right from within your YouTube as well. So that is the two ways in which you can actually operate TubeBuddy. So that being done and understood, now we are going to move over to each of these tools separately and I'm going to give you a guide of all of that. But before going that far, I just wanted to mention one thing that my tutorial would be based on extension first, that is we'll cover all these tools that are possible to cover from here and then we'll take a look on their web interface, right? So that's how this video will pan out. With that being said, let's jump over to the first secret tool that they have, which is called the Keywords Explorer. Just come along over here and click on Keyword Explorer. And in here, the first thing that I want you to know is that there is a section called what is trending. And depending on the location your channel is, you can get the trending contents over here. Now, if your channel is based on trending contents or, or you want to pick up some views based on trending contents, then you can take a look at all of these. What happens is that YouTube keeps suggesting their trending content to people, right? So if you are making a video on this topic, you would get a lot of views from YouTube suggestions. So that's a cool way to do stuff. If you are located anywhere else, you can find a drop down over here and from here you can change the country. Say for example, I want to know what's happening in India. I can just click on that and you can see all of these things are getting good views in India and these are trending. So if you make any video on this, you are definitely going to get a lot of views. So that's how you can actually research this trending area, but I'm going to limit myself to the searchable keywords. Now, 
from YouTube, you get different kind of views. You, some views are related to searching key intent. Like say, for example, I want to search the best tutorial on TubeBuddy. So what I can do over here is that I can just search like TubeBuddy. And once I enter TubeBuddy, you can get all the suggestion over here as well. These are coming from YouTube. So you know there are searches on this. So let's go ahead and search out for TubeBuddy tutorial. Just click on this. Now, once I complete TubeBuddy tutorial, you can see the other things related are coming up as well. But I don't want to go further down. I just want to check out what is the potential if I go for a video on TubeBuddy tutorial, right? So let's click on explore. Now you can see over here the result have come up there is the overall score which suggests it's a good choice to have then there's a score analysis like the search volume that you are getting the weighted competition that is there the optimization strength that is there and all of this right then in here on the right hand side you can find the trends over time right say for example i want to analyze the 12 month trend you can see there is a consistent trend of this right and in here, what I want you to understand is that there is a related searches, right? So TubeBuddy for YouTube tutorial is TubeBuddy free to use, TubeBuddy free, TubeBuddy safe, and all of these are there, right? So what you can do is that you can add a few things to this keyword to make it even better opportunity. So say, for example, I want to search TubeBuddy tutorial for beginners, right? And now if I click on explore, you can see over here, it's 96%. So it's a great, great keyword to have. And that's why probably I had chosen to make this video. So you understand the whole thing over here. It's not recommended that you do the video first and then come over keyword analysis. It doesn't work like that. First, you need to do keyword analysis. And from that, you need to identify the keyword that has the highest potential of ranking, right? Based on your channel. The best part about TubeBuddy is that it gives you a weighted score. Weighted score means it will go over to your YouTube channel. It will understand the kind of videos that you have. And based on that, it will try to ascertain if you make a video, then how much is the chance for that video to rank on YouTube? Now, as you can see, my weighted score is excellent. But if I go over to unweighted, then you can see the score drops down because for this is for any random channel. If you don't have things related to YouTube or related to SEO, then the chances go down. But in my channel, I have different videos on YouTube. I have different videos on SEO. So YouTube knows that I am a kind of expert in this topic. So if I make a video on this, this would be an excellent choice for me. So that is what YouTube is suggesting. Then you can see all the different things like the number of videos in search results, the number of people that are getting views, right? All of that is there. Then if you go for detailed results, you can click over here and you can find in all the videos that are ranking for this, right? So you can see over here, all of these videos are ranking for this search term. Now you can go ahead and take a look at them because all of these are your competitors actually right so you can take a look at what they have taught about what they have missed you can jot it down you can add more value to this tutorial and then you are definitely going to rank on top of each of them so that being said, that's how easy it is to actually analyze your keyword. Although it sounds very easy, but still it is the most important step in maintaining your success story because you need to identify the keywords that are important for the growth. With that being said, once we have finalized our keyword, it's time for us to go back to TubeBuddy. And this time we will actually go into the second step, which is optimizing our video using the SEO Studio. So for that, we'll head over to SEO Studio, click on that. And in here, as we have already fixed the keyword that we are going to use, let us paste it over here right now let's click on start now this gives us our interface just like the one that we see while uploading our video right and in here there is title there's description then there are tags there's thumbnail all of that is available so what you ideally want to do over here is that you want this score as suggested by youtube buddy this score should go up to anywhere between 95 to 100 percent right so that's the ideal thing for you now how you can improve this score again the answer to that question is over here as well now let me move my camera to the other side so that all of this is visible a little better now i really hope this is more visible over here right now in here you can see how to improve the seo score so in here there are a few tick marks like correct and then there are a few cross marks like wrong so the first thing over here is that include your target keyword naturally in the title so as you can see over here my title isn't natural as of now so i can just add something to it to make it natural sounding so i have added something like comprehensive guide to tube buddy and as soon as i've done so you can see the score goes up to 86 percent right so what i've done is that i have made it appear more natural by adding a few words to it and then i've also added the key phrase over here as well so that it gives some more boost to the seo now in the same way you can just go down over here and find the other suggestion that it has like include partial matches of your target keyword in the description so we can just go ahead and have that over here and that would definitely increase our score by a little bit more as well so let me quickly do that 
So in here, as you can see, I've added a few lines and as you can see, these are matching with the tutorial. There is partial match, tutorial, tube buddy, tube buddy for beginners. Then in here, I've also added the term beginners, right? So all of these actually help to get your score a better level and to increase your SEO as well. As you can see, the SEO has increased. Now, with that being said, you want your description to be a little longer, but I'm not doing that right now. You can go ahead and add it. You can even use tools like Chat GPT as well, or you can use TubeBuddy itself to generate the description for you. I'll show that to you as well. Don't worry. So with that being said, that's how you can play around with the title and the description. Secondly, you can ho hover over to these tags. And in here, as you can see, these are the tags that you want to use. Now in here, there are some suggested tags as well. As you can see over here, you can just one click and add this over here as well. That's up to you. Now in here, you can follow these things like include partial matches of your target keyword and include more relevant tags. You can actually follow these along or you can actually follow this tutorial to find a better way to find tags that can give you better results. So that is going to be a pro tip, which I would share with you in a little while, right? So for now, you can even skip this part called tag. The next thing that we have is thumbnail. You can go over there and you can upload your thumbnail. You can see what kind of thumbnail works from here. You can find the red color within the thumbnail combination is having a good effect because all of these, uh, whichever videos are ranking on top, all of them has kind of red color on them, right? So when I make my thumbnail, I would be making sure that I use this, right? And also once you have created the thumbnail, you can upload it over here and you can compare if your thumbnail stands apart or not. So that is going to be a good one to have. It can significantly improve your click through rate and uh, it, you can get more engagement with a better thumbnail, right? And last but not least, you can apply to the video as well in one click from here. So that's up to you. So that being said, that's how we can use the SEO studio. The next tool that we have over here is called the video topic planner. Now, this is a kind of uh, management tool wherein you can have all the different topics. You can just click on new topic and you can add the topic title. You can add the topic notes like what are you going to talk about? What are the links that you are going to add? What If there is a reference video, you can add that link as well over here. And once your video is completed, you can mark it as complete over here. So this kind of helps you to organize your videos in a better way. So this is a kind of management tool. You can think about it. Now, the next tool that we have over here is called the tag list and then the best time to publish and then the click magnet and then the suggested shots. Now we are going to come to this, but before that, I want you to understand how we can leverage TubeBuddy to its fullest while uploading your video. So that is going to be something that is not over here, but that is a pro tip from me. So let's go ahead to our YouTube studio over here. As you can see, I'm within my YouTube studio and in here, I'm going to use this upload videos. Just click on that and then select your files. So I'm going to use a demo file over here. I'm not going to upload anything. I'm just going to show you how this works. So I've actually taken a random file over here called introduction to Zoom meetings, as you can see. I'm just going to use this to give you a demo of how you can use TubeBuddy while even uploading your videos. So as you can see over here, the title is coming over here. Now you can use this TubeBuddy tools as they come up over here. Just click on that. And in here, you can see the SEO studio is available. So anything that you had made, like say for example, the TubeBuddy tutorial for beginner, the ones that we had saved, if you click on that, and then if you click on apply, then you would see that this title and these things would be applied over here. You can see these tags have been applied. And then if we go up over here, you can see the title has been applied and the description has been applied as well, right? So that's quite cool stuff to have. Now over here, if you scroll down, you can see there is another TubeBuddy utility that you have, which is called Create Thumbnail. So if you click on that, you can see you can use th the TubeBuddy itself to create a thumbnail for you. You can use a steel frame from the video. You can use a solid color background or you can image. You can use any image or existing thumbnail as well. So that's up to you. However, this is not that essential, but I really feel that I want you to know everything that is possible doable with TubeBuddy, right? So with that being said, let's scroll down over here. And in here, I want to show you one thing that I told you, like the tags, as you can see over here, these are the tags that are available. And if I scroll down over here, then you can find the TubeBuddy tag tools, right? You can see over here. Now on the tag tools, we can go for Keyword Explorer. And in here, we are going to enter the same thing like TubeBuddy tutorial for beginners, right? And then in here, we have a thing called tags, right? You can see over here. So you can just click on that. And in here, you can see the tags that are getting the most of the views, right? So you can see all of these, all of these and the kind of views that they are bringing in. So what you can do over here is that you can just go ahead on this filter and you can select this two video tag limit. Just select that. You can see it has been done and then on the actions you can click on this and you can just copy it to clipboard just do this and then go back to the video that you are uploading so just cut this off in here 
we are now going to go back to this tags so just delete everything and add the things that we have copied right here right so you can see we have added all these tags successfully and all these tags as we have already got them that these are performing tags so if you are going to apply these tags definitely you are going to get a great results now with that being said that's how we can actually go ahead and implement the tags and that's how we can actually use tubebuddy while uploading our videos as well so these are the things that i wish that you know because nobody else talks about these amazing amazing features that tubebuddy has so that being said, that's the tools that you are going to use right from keyword research to uploading your videos. Now, once your video is uploaded, then also there are a few tools that you wish to use from TubeBuddy. So for those, we'll go back to the TubeBuddy, again, the tool over here. And now we are going to find the things like best time to publish. So if you click on that, TubeBuddy is going to take you over to your audience analysis. And from here, you can see these TubeBuddy recommendations are coming. Like if you are uploading, then if you are uploading weekly, then consider uploading at 4 p.m. Thursday. That is, I should consider that rather because this is based on my channel data. When once you apply this on your channel, you will get your channel data as well. And if I'm doing it daily, I should upload at these times of the day. So that's how cool it is. And that's how I can really take advantage of when our subscribers are active on YouTube, right? So that was another tool that TubeBuddy gives you. The next tool that we have is called Click Magnet. Now, if we go over this, you can see over here, this is how this looks like. So just click on Get Started. And this tool is more about increasing your click-through rate, increasing the clickability, and increasing your SEO score, right? So from here, you can find different things. Like, first of all, you can find which videos of yours are ranking the best. That is, which of your contents are being liked by your subscribers so that you can model those contents to get more clicks, right? So in here, as you can see, these videos are sorted from very high strength depending on the kind of views, the kind of CTR and the kind of clicks that I'm getting. And if I model these videos and I create more videos just like these topics, then there is a huge chance that I can go viral in any one of them, right? So that's the implication of this little thing. Now let's go back. And in here, we have another thing called Element Inspector. So if you click on that, what you what this tells you is that your thumbnail, right? On the thumbnail where I have a face in there, I have got better click-through rates. Whereas on the ones that I don't have a face, I have got a little lesser click-through rate. So what this tells me is that I should include face, right? Then there are emotions. So if I go over to emotion, you can see within face, if there is a happy face, then I get 4.68%. If there is a sad face, unfortunately, I haven't used any sad face so far. So there is no data over here. But if I use the surprise kind of face, I get 5.50% click-through rate, which is quite amazing to have. Then if I go for calm face, I can get only 2.77. So maybe I should avoid using those kind of face. The next thing that we have is sizes. Just click on that. And in here, you have the different kind of shots. Like these are long shots where you have the total public over here but from a distance then you have a mid shot which has from head to around chest and then there's a close-up which has only the face right so you can see or based on that as well the results that i'm getting and i can see i can get a mixed face size gives me the best results and then followed by a mid shot so these are the definite things that I would consider while making my next thumbnail, right? So that's an important thing to have. Then let's go back. And in here, we have the opportunities tab as well. If you click on that, this gives you the videos which have opportunity to get more views, but they are getting less because of their click-through rate, right? And as you can see over here, the click-through rate is only 1.57%. So the opportunity is very high over here. So what I should do is that I should go ahead and create an A-B test. So if I click on this, this allows me to upload multiple thumbnails. As you can see over here, I can go ahead and upload an alternative thumbnail and TubeBuddy will actually show both of the thumbnails in an alternate manner and find out the best performing one, right? So it will pick up the winner and show me that this is the winner so that I can make the changes. Then you can also make a metadata test like you can change the title, you can change the descriptions and all and find how good effect that is bringing to your video, right? So we are going to discuss on this a little later. So let's go back. The last but not the least one is advanced analytics. So if we click on this, this will give you the advanced analytics like the clicks versus impressions, then the views versus click per views. Then you get the average duration versus average percentage. Then you get the click through rate and then you get the power rank. Now, depending on these ranks, if you actually model the top ranking videos, there's a good chance for you to go viral, right? So that's how this works. You can even export it on CS and apply different filters and find out better data from it as well. So that being said, that's how this little tool works, which is Click Magnet. Now, once this is done, we'll go over to TubeBuddy again. And in here, we can find the last little tool from the 
extension which is called suggested shorts if we click on this this actually allows you to find which part of your video would make make the best shorts right now as you can see over here this video over here stop using GID so this was a long form video that I have and it's suggesting that from this part that is 5 minute 32 second to 5 minute 47 second this can have a great virality score if I go for a short right and I just want to use this kind of timestamp on that so I can use any video editor to actually cut off that part and convert it into a vertical video and then push it as a short so that's how TubeBuddy can help you to grow your shorts platform as well and repurpose your existing videos as well so that being said now let's go back to TubeBuddy again so I have been actually able to tell you all about all of these tools now there are some other tools that is available on their website tools as you can see over here now let's Go ahead and check out this. So for this, we'll click on Launchpad. And this kind of opens up the dashboard as you can see over here. And from here, I can get different stuffs. Like we can see a checklist template over here. Just click on that. And in here, you can find the checklist template. Now, you can keep this handy like on your desk so that whenever you upload, you make sure that you are following this checklist. Although this is a very trivial thing, yet a useful one to use. The next thing that we have is the best practices setup. You can click on that and in here you can find all the best practices as recommended by YouTube. So that if you follow these best practices, there is a huge chance that you would get better rankings and better results with your videos like adding chapters, captions, cards, pin a comment. You can see all of these and these you can actually apply to all your videos and make sure that it actually ranks on YouTube, right? Then there's the opportunity setup as well. And in here you can find the opportunities like where your audiences are getting dropped off, the average retention that you are going to get, audience retention, community things like if people are awaiting your comment or awaiting your response, something like that you can find over here. Then if there is any social mentions of you on your community, you can find over here. So all of this you can find from this tab. The next thing that we have is called active monitoring. And in here, you can find all the things that you wish to be noted down for, right? The next thing that we have is the, called the search rank tracking. You can just click on that. And in here, you want the keywords to track. Just click on that. And in here, as you can see, I've added one keyword called Canva Magic Studio Tutorial. Now, if I check out this, if I click on this, you can see over here, this video from me ranks on top, right? So if I go back over here, and if I go over to the ranking reports, you can see this is the ranking report as of uh, yesterday. So if I view this report, you can see over here, I rank on top. So this is, as you can see, is exactly what you can see on YouTube, right? Now, with that being said, you can track this rank. Like if it falls down or climbs up, you can track that and you can necessarily know what changes you made which actually help you to rank better so you can apply those winning strategies on other videos as well and make them rank better as well so that's how it works the next thing that you have is scheduling you can also schedule it to run that report daily or weekly or monthly and send that report to you as well so that you can keep track of the keywords at your fingertips the next thing that we have is competitors you can click on that and you can click on manage and in here you can add your competitors now i have added one competitor as you can see over here now if i go over to the scorecard it will actually compare your channel with your competitor and give you a detailed report so let's wait and see what report i have so as you can see my competitor has outplayed me but wait don't go away i want you to see one thing over here this is the lifetime right so this guy has definitely outplayed me in the lifetime part but once after i have added him as my competitor right Let's go ahead and check the last 30 days. I have outplayed him on views, right? I have quite good competition in terms of subscribers. And yes, he has uploaded a little more. I have uploaded a little less, but I'm going to catch up. Don't worry. So this definitely helps you to build a competitive environment, which is healthy and which drives you to get more views, more subscribers, more upload, more watch time, and eventually more money, right? So this is very important stuff to have. The next thing that we have is brand alerts. You can click on that and you can click on manage. And in here, you can check out the different brand alerts. Like I have, have one on affiliate marketing because I want to be aware of what all tutorials are going worldwide on affiliate marketing. So whenever there is something new that is coming up, I'll get notified, right? So in this way, you can manage your brand alerts as well. Now, the next one, which is an important thing to have, which is the A-B test. If we click on this, we can click on manage. And in here, as you can see, I have created an A-B test on this little video. This was the original thumbnail that was being used. And this is my variation thumbnail. Now, this is in progress. I have not got the results as yet. But once I get the results, I'll be able to compare the original one with the new one and take decision on which thumbnail I should keep. Now remember you can just go ahead and 
create a brand new A-B test and you can create it on any videos that you wish to. You can find a video from here that is you have uploaded recently or you can search for it as well by entering the keyword, right? Or you can take help from TubeBuddy itself to find out the low CTR videos. Just click over here and from here you get the low CTR videos, right? You can see over here the imp impression click through rate and you can see these are having good click through rates. So let's scroll down to find something that's not working that much. You can see this one is not at all working. So what I can do is that I can actually actually find this video and I can make the changes right so all that I need to do over here is that how to make money on YouTube without making videos so let's go ahead and search for this so you can see this over here right so I can just select this and in here I can upload a brand new thumbnail I just need to select this and I need to keep a number of days I want to run the thumbnail test for right say for example 14 days and then let's select this and then they want you to start when they want to start so let's start as app and then once done, we can just click on continue and boom, it will start the test. Now you can also do this on, so once you click start test, it will ask for the thumbnail to have. So let's go ahead and add a thumbnail. So I have just quickly made it so that I can give you a reference, right? So this is another thumbnail that I'm going to use. So I'm going to click on start test and I'll confirm this and boom, it would actually start the test for us, right? Now you can actually go ahead and stop this test anytime that you like, that's up to you. And as you can see, the initial results would be ready by Thursday, 25th of July. So we need to wait for three or four days to get an initial result on our test. Now that being said, I can cl click on manage again and I can go ahead and make another A-B test as well. And this time I can go ahead and make it on not only thumbnail but also we can do it on tags titles and description as well so i can select any video say for example this one just for an example and then in here we can go for a metadata test this time just select that and that will actually allow you to do the different testing like tag description and all of those the titles and all of those stuff so that is all of the metadata so i would recommend you to make one change at a time so that you can understand exactly which change has worked right so that being said, that's how important TubeBuddy is and that's how cool TubeBuddy can be to your YouTube success journey, right? Then there are a few important stuff like backup and export. Now, if you wish to have a backup of all your metadata, like titles, tags, descriptions of all of the videos that you have added thus far, you can start a backup by clicking on this and it would actually back up all of those metadata for future use if you want to. Then there are promo materials as well. If you click on this, this gives you the promotion material over here. You can see for most recent uploads. You can see the most popular upload. You can find your channel page link. You can actually share this and distribute this wherever you wish to, right? To get more promotions to your channel. So that being said, that's pretty much a complete tutorial on TubeBuddy. And I'm pretty sure you must have not found such a detailed tutorial anywhere on YouTube thus far. If you think that like that, if you agree on that, then please consider liking this video and share this to all of your friends and families who are in desperate need to grow their YouTube channel. So that being said, again, if you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to this channel to get regular updates just like this that can change the way you make money from online world. And as I had promised at the very start, I have a gift for you as well. So the gift is if you have lesser than 1000 subscribers, you can get started for TubeBuddy. You can do that absolutely free as well. But if you consider picking up a paid plan, I can give you a 50% off coupon. But remember, it would be applicable only if you have lesser than 1000 subscribers. If you have more than 1000 subscribers, then also I have got you covered. But this time that you discount is going to be 20%. Now remember all of these are exclusive discount. You just need to find the link below in the description for you TubeBuddy. Click on that, head over to TubeBuddy and then on the description you can find the two coupons as well. Depending on which category you fall into that is lesser than 1000 or greater than 1000, you can apply the respective coupon to get 50 or 20% off. But remember this is going to be a limited time offer because I have kind of urged TubeBuddy to allow me to give away this for my subscribers and if you are looking to move into a paid plan then this is the perfect time to do so even if you don't move into paid plan that also is fine you can just start off completely for free of course but for god's sake do start off because somewhere you need to start and somewhere your youtube needs to grow i am there to help you whenever there is a need if you want to get in touch with me please comment down below i personally reply to all the comments and if you have any problems you can always reach out to me so with that being said it brings me to an end of this tutorial Again, I really hope that you have liked it and I would appreciate if you can show that by hitting the like button and share this with your friend. And also, if you have not subscribed as yet, consider subscribing me as well.
well. So again, we'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet. Until then, please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to keep making money online. Signing off is Shine from Review Shine. Take care. Bye-bye.